Use a PVC pipe with a diameter of 110 millimeters. Then measure and cut into eight centimeter long pieces. I continued using a thin plastic sheet, then measured and cut two round sheets with a diameter of 12 centimeters. Punch two round holes on two round plastic sheets, then use specialized glue to stick the two bearings in. I replaced a round plastic sheet with a transparent makeup sheet. Next, I used a plastic tube with a diameter of 4 centimeters and a length of 7 centimeters and used two pieces of plastic to cover the two ends of the plastic tube. Use four magnets and stick them around the plastic tube. Use a long nut and insert it into the middle of the plastic pipe. Use a bolt to secure it. Then put the shaft and the plastic tube with magnet into the 110 millimeter plastic tube. Use specialized glue to spread the Mika sheet into the other end of the plastic tube. I used one millimeter diameter copper wire wrapped around the plastic pipe. Next, I used a fan blade from a range hood and cut the fan blade off. I used a 76 millimeter diameter plastic pipe and cut it into several pieces. Next, I use screws to secure the cut plastic tubes to the ventilation fan blades.
I used a piece of plastic and glued it to the copper coil. Next, I use the fan base as the base for my turbine. Finally, I use the jumper wire to connect the two ends of the copper coil. Once the generator was completed, I took it to the water source for testing. After I turn on the water source to make the turbine spin, I use the transformer circuit to use the electricity. I use fans and light bulbs to utilize the energy generated by the turbine. Awesome. The turbine I made is very strong and durable. Thank you for watching my video, please subscribe, leave a comment below the video, and visit my channel often. Thank you very much, have a nice day.